Hi guys, I'm back again with the Light Divergen 12 inch singles and the yeah, singles that were released from that album. I'll be going through and explaining a bit about each record, so stay tuned as I um, get through it. Okay, let's get started. First single from that album released is obviously Light Divergen. Here's a uh, copy that's still in shrink, shrink wrap, the original version of Like a Virgin, 12 inch. It's a great picture sleeve, uh, an image from the uh, video clip where she's in Venice, you can see there, back cover, same thing. And that features Like a Virgin extended mix with Stay, the LP version on the B side. This is the UK pressing of Like a Virgin with an alternate sleeve. I refer to it to the US Dance Remix. This is the standard version that was released. Note the barcode or the code on a white box there. Um, I'll refer to that later with the poster edition. You'll see it's a little different. Also, this version of the sleeve is uh, plain grey as opposed to a silver metallic version. This is the Japanese pressing of Like a Virgin. So it's actually titled Like a Virgin and Other Big Hits. A great pink obi strip there. It's a unique design for Like a Virgin. Um, great cover. The back cover is similar to the US, however, as you can see, there's four tracks there. So the Japanese used to compile a few of her singles onto an EP, um, and put all the extended remixes and release it as an EP rather than an individual 12 inch single. And this is one of the first ones that was often referred to also as the Japanese mini LP for Like a Virgin um, and other hits being the songs from the first album. The great item, uh, very collectible. This is the Canadian pressing of Like a Virgin. So in Canada, they decided to do something a little different and they issued the first copies of Like a Virgin in a white promotional 12 inch. So as you can see there, Virgin white vinyl, obviously the time with the name, the title, it's a promotion only. And this is the 45 RPM mix um, featuring the Jelly Bean remix of Like a Virgin. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the um, Canadian sleeve. They're quite expensive, difficult to find, um, and uh, can set you back a bit of money if you do find them. Here's a Japanese promo of Like a Virgin. As you can see there, it, it features the 12 inch jelly bean mix. Um, it has the same cover as the album, obviously, but it's a nice little promotional item. The B side is actually another Warner Brothers artist, uh, Donna Summer, but the A side is obviously most important piece. This helped promote the single in Japan. It was a smash hit and it's a great little item. The, uh, the record itself is promo as well. In America, they released two promo 12 inch singles. One for Like a Virgin that is. One is the LP version which they issued in this great graphic sleeve. The nice lace design and looks like um, some type of you know, graffiti art in the background. Uh, which was, she was heavily influenced by uh, with some of her friends in New York at the time. So uh, ties in, I guess, with, with what was happening in the music scene and with the song. So this is a great 12 inch, really nice uh, for promo only. And it was sent to radio stations and DJs. This one is the other promo that was sent out. So this was probably geared at the clubs. It includes the extended dance remix. So different cover, once again, promo only, but it was sent to DJs to play in the clubs, whereas the other promo may have been just for radio stations. But it was nice that they actually had two different 12-inch singles to promote the song. Then we get to Like a Virgin, the Philippine 12-inch mix. And this one is referred to as a special dance mix. It's got a great little sticker there, as you can see. That's a vinyl record. These are really nice. Once again, really hard to get in this great condition. I was lucky enough to find my Philippine 12 inch singles in fantastic condition. So um, yeah, you, you want to try and track them down in good condition. This is the uh, Aussie 12 inch single for Like A Virgin. Uh, and it's important to know that Like A Virgin actually went to number one in Australia before any other country. I think a week before uh, America and some other countries. So it was a smash hit and did really well. So the 12 inch was um, sold quite well. Here's a promo copy of the album. Uh, the reason, it, although I'm doing a separate segment for albums, the reason I'm showing this is because it actually has the flexi disc of Like a Virgin. 
So this is a promo flexi of the Like a Virgin single with a nice little lip logo there, you can see. Only distributed to the media and radio stations. Uh, this one comes with its original insert, so you can see there's a title and all the um, uh, Japanese translation information about the record itself. They also talk and refer to her as a retail star, radio star, video star, platinum star, and more than a lucky star. That's a bit of a spiel about the album, the new single. So there was quite a bit of excitement. But the, the disc itself came attached to this insert, was stuck to this insert. Um, so you'd want to try and find the flexi disc with its original insert. That came from a collector, in J a, a record company person in Japan actually. I was able to get that. Same with this item. So this is a sample pack that was sent to um, media in Japan and radio stations and comes with the Star is Born insert. So you open that up and it's got a lot of Japanese information about the single and the record and um, pictures and inserts. So it's quite a nice item. It's a nice little promotional piece. This is the gold stamped promo of the Leica version, the US 12 inch version. So these would have been the first copies. They released a few of them, stamped them, and sent them to um, the uh, uh, to radio stations for promotions or DJs. So these are a little bit more collectible than the standard versions. Now I mentioned earlier the Leica Virgin 12 inch. This is the UK version. This includes the free poster, the limited free poster, which is quite scarce. They refer to this as the US Dance Remix, um, but it's the same version, of course, as the US version. You can see here that the actual sleeve is more of a metallic effect as opposed to the standard grey effect and I'll show you the comparison between the two so you can see they're quite different this one looks very metallic um, and uh, it's you know including the poster it also has the logo on the back that doesn't appear on a white box it's printed directly onto the lace pattern design so these are quite difficult to find um, really nice items